Hey guys, back with another one real quick. Uh, I have a little special surprise. It's going to be a short one. I uh, finally got a new part for my G that I've ordered. I think I ordered this part at the beginning of the 2018 summer and it just came in at the end of fall here. So I'm really excited about it. It should add a little bit different of a twist to my car. Now this isn't the only mod coming for the car so keep in mind when you see this that it's not going to just like transform everything like I have a vision for it this is just one of the steps so I'm not gonna be rice by any means and just be adding this itself so let me go and uh, get the box and show you what it looks like So I don't know if you can tell what it is, but it's about as tall as me. Super long, super wide, very heavy. Uh, it came on a freight carrier, so you know that it can't come on a regular uh, UPS truck. It actually had to be shipped here with a train and semi and whatever. So we're gonna get this downstairs and unbox this real quick. I got a new bumper. So we ended up going with the Straw Speed bumper um, from Outcast Garage. It's really aggressive and super mean. Um, this is just it unboxed down here. Uh, I'm gonna take it outside real quick and get a better view of it. Like I said before, this is a Straff Speed bumper. I bought it from Outcast Garage, and it's just a really aggressive looking bumper. I'm really going for an aggressive look on my car. Uh, I know this is just the start, but we've got a lot of things coming for this. Um, so this take a, took a long time to get here. I'm not sure where it came from. Uh, but Outcast Garage is where I bought it from and they're the vendor for this company. Uh, like I said, it's a speed bumper. You go a good look at it. Now what I really like about it is just obviously super aggressive. Now this is un this is currently unpainted. So I'm wondering if, uh, let me know what you think of the colors. But obviously body matches color. But the front splitter, I'm either debating on body matching that or just going with another like a matte black. And then this like chrome stuff, blacking that out. I have seen some other G's with this bumper and it just looks really good. So we have that coming, then we'll get new wheels with better fitment and stuff like that. But just let's look at some of the shots from this bumper. So one thing I'm going to have to do that I kind of forgot about is I'm going to have to drill into the new bumper because of the front license plate. I don't know if anybody here can identify with uh, your state having some BS laws, but we have a front license plate law, so I'm going to have to like somehow bolt into that without actually drilling into the bumper. So if anybody has any good ideas to like do some kind of hidden mount or something I can pull off, let me know, because that's going to be super annoying. I don't know if you can call me hot boy now, I'm not trying to be a ricer. But this is the first part of many parts to come for this car. Just set this down in some overalls. I like it a lot. Super clean, super nice, really aggressive. It's going to give me the perfect look that I'm going for. Hopefully, hopefully that'll come true. Um, these parts are not cheap though. And to ship a bumper of this size and that size of box is about $200. So just the shipping alone was $200. So uh, yeah, car stuff's expensive. So that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Uh, if you're thinking about buying this bumper, so far I would approve. This is just my first impressions, though. This is not a review. Um, I might make a review later um, after we get a match to the car. But I just want to say that this is the reveal of uh, my new uh, part that I got. And uh, hopefully a big plan's coming for this car. So please stay tuned. So please like the video and subscribe. It really, really, really helps me out. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to catch you in the next one. We have some more fun videos planned. I know this was kind of boring. Fingers down the side.